Get the joker to the thief There's too much confusion I can't get no relief A businessman they drink my wine A plumber dig my earth None of them along the line No one any of its worth How's it going folks, this is Wayne Hart, back with another lesson and today we're looking at an old classic, we've got Bob Dylan's version of All Along the Watchtower, a um, nice easy way to play, sort of a capoed up version, uh, sort of aimed mainly at beginners, uh, it is quite a fast paced one so we're going to show you a little bit of a strumming pattern, if you do want the chords, the lyrics and the strumming pattern to this I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page as always with a lot of the other stuff that I do to coincide with my lessons. So for as little as a couple of quid a month you can get access to all that. So I'm going to put a little uh, link to that in the description below. Also, thanks for the continued support. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and continues to do so. You, further way you could help me out, if you would, is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. And also go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and now also TikTok, as you always say. I'm trying to get down with the kids. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado... Let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but as you can see, you're going to want the capo for this particular version up on the fourth fret, okay? And when you've done that, you're basically going to need, uh, you know, the same four chords all the way through the song. So it's the same chord progression throughout. So the first chord is an A minor. Okay, second chord is a G. So it's up to you what G you use. I personally like to use the four finger G. You could do the three finger G or the three finger, you know, G with the second, third little pinky on the third fret on the top E string relative to the capo. Uh, the next chord is an F major 7, so I play an F major 7 with a C bass in, so all of that would be if you're not familiar with that, take your regular F major 7, move your third finger to the third fret relative to the capo on the A string, little pinky, third fret on the D string. You just get a, a meteor sounding F chord with that C bass in, sounds really nice, okay? And then the last chord we're going to go back to the G again. So in its basic form, so you Okay, so a strumming pattern that would fit to that. Okay, so on the A minor we do a down, down, down. And when we hit the G, up, down, up. So down, 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 up, down, up. And then we do on the same, the F to the G. Down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. But it's keeping that consistent all the way through the song. There must be some way out of here. Said the Joker to the there's too much confusion I can't get no relief Business man they drink my wine The plumber dig my ear None of them along the line Know what any of it's worth Okay, and that will carry on throughout the song so like I say, sort of ideal beginner song uh, obviously not as effective as the Hendrix version but I think the original version real big fan of the early Dylan, Dylan stuff and uh, if you can play a harmonica as well obviously adding the harmonica in in between the breaks uh, would would be really effective as well so uh, there we go hope you dig that that's pretty much all you're gonna need okay so thanks very much for watching hope you all dug that uh, always get requests for dylan stuff and uh, you know it's an old classic dylan song so there you go hope you all dug that and it's a, like i said a great one for beginners as well if you just come across my channel and you've not long started playing i think this is a good one to stick into your archive so uh, like i say hope you dug it if you've got any other requests for any other dylan stuff or any from 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic or an electric guitar I do do an eyeful of electric lessons every now and again, so uh, do keep your requests coming in. So the easiest way to put your request in is either comment in the post below 
or uh, another way is if you want to find me a personal message over on social media on those platforms I suggested in the intro you're very welcome to I just always point out that I do get quite a lot and I do have to hemp it in a little bit don't let that put you off please do keep your requests coming because that's what keeps this channel going uh, also thanks for your continued support as I said in the intro thanks for subscribing and I'll just mention it again if you are subscribed third way you can help me out is hitting that little notification bell down there it's very much appreciated and also we always say is word of mouth is a powerful thing so uh, if you do dig what I do please like and share my videos tell your friends tell your work colleagues anyone you know who plays the guitar please point them in my direction I'd very much appreciate that so that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon take care